Hello, my name is Bob Carlson, Vice President of Global Marketing for the Siemens Company. I'm here today to talk to you about the total cost of ownership of a network cabling system. On the surface, it seems pretty simple. If you factor in materials and labor, if you install a lower performing cabling system, such as Category 5E, it's going to be less expensive than installing a Category 6A or Category 7 cabling system, based on initial cost. The following analysis compares the initial installed cost for a 24-channel cabling system using plenum rated cable and a labor rate of $65 per hour. Systems range from Category 5E through Category 7A, also known as Class FA. Initial installation costs include the cost of the components, installation labor, and testing. As you can see, the better performing cabling system, the higher the installation cost. The lowest performing cabling option offers the lowest initial installation cost. If initial installation cost was all that mattered, you can make your decision right now and it would be pretty simple. But you really need to factor in how long you expect to be in your facility to understand the true cost of ownership over time. You also need to factor in the life cycle of the cabling system based on the different performance categories. Here we take the initial installation costs and divide them by the expected life cycles for each of the systems to get an annualized cost. These life cycles are based on industry standard guidelines and each cabling system's ability to support current and future applications. Category 5E cannot support 10G base T, making it necessary to replace these systems as 10 gigabit electronics become more readily available in the next two to five years. As such, a Category 5E system offers a limited five-year maximum life cycle. Only legacy Category 6 installations are being considered for 10 gigabit applications over a limited distance, giving Category 6 only a two-year advantage over Category 5E. Both UTP and FUTP Category 6A systems will support 10G base T, making them viable for a full 10-year life cycle. Category 7A is expected to support applications beyond 10 gigabit Ethernet, extending its useful life cycle to at least 15 years. Based upon annualized cost, we can see that much, if not all, of the savings gained from installing a lower performing cabling system and a lower cost cabling system up front disappears over the life cycle of that cabling system. And that's before considering the incremental cost to upgrade going from 10100 to 1 gigabit. When upgrading to 1 gig, it is recommended that Category 5E channels be fully tested to verify their performance. Including this additional cost of testing will raise the annualized cost of a Category 5E system at 1 gig beyond that for all higher performing options. Moving from 1 gig to 10 gig introduces many new incremental costs that need to be factored into your total cost of ownership. The first thing you'll notice is that the Category 6A and Category 7A systems have not changed. Because they are 10 gig capable, no upgrades are necessary. Moving Category 6 to 10 gig, however, will add costs. Legacy Category 6 channels will need to be tested and verified for 10G base T. Non-performing channels will have to be removed and Category 6A or higher channels will have to be installed. The figures in this table are very conservative cost estimates for these steps yet are still enough to drive the annualized cost of a Category 6 legacy system well beyond Category 6A and 7A. Since Category 5E cannot support 10 gig, it requires complete removal and replacement with a higher performing system. This graph includes only the cost of removing the Category 5E system. So we can see so far that the initial installed cost savings of putting in a Category 5E or 6 system quickly disappears when we consider the life cycle of the cabling system. And this analysis hardly addresses all of the upgrade costs at this point in time. We all know the rising cost of network downtime, and upgrading a cabling system will create downtime. The following provides a basic look at downtime costs associated with an upgrade to 10 gigabit cabling. Category 5E will incur downtime associated with removal and replacement of all channels. Testing and replacement of non-compliant Category 6 channels will also cause downtime. As before, 10 gigabit capable Category 6A and Category 7A channels will incur no additional costs. If you recall, our first graph showed that at installation, a Category 7A solution would cost about three times more 
than a Category 5e solution. By the time you factor in the additional costs and annualize them, that is completely reversed. The Category 5e solution costs three times more than the Category 7a solution. And remember, that doesn't include the cost to install a replacement for the Category 5e system. It is important to understand this has been a very simplified approach to analyzing the total cost of ownership of a structured cabling solution. Some other things that weren't factored in here are the cost of overtime hours for upgrading a cabling system on nights or weekends. Also, Category 7A's cable sharing capabilities and the additional cost savings benefits that that offers to an end user. Thank you for taking the time today to explore the total cost of ownership of a structured cabling system. Remember that it's very important to consider not only the initial installed cost, but the complete cost over the entire life of the cabling system. I'd like to leave you with one final thought. Your cabling investment represents only 2 to 3 percent of your network hardware spend. A cabling system is expected to last 10 plus years, supporting 2 to 3 iterations of active electronics. It is potentially the most difficult and costly element of your network to replace. So, if you're installing a new cabling system and you expect to be in your facility for greater than 5 years, we urge you to put in the best possible cabling system available to maximize your total cost of ownership. For more detail and the sources and background of our data, we encourage you to download our white paper entitled Cabling Life Cycles and the Total Cost of Ownership, which is available at Siemen.com. In addition, your local Siemen sales representatives can provide a customized TCO analysis based entirely on your network requirements.